After undergoing a life-changing surgery, this 47-year-old woman is encouraging people to become organ donors. Connie Culp underwent the nation's first face transplant at the Cleveland Clinic in 2008. I look great because of my doctors and the donor, you know. If it weren't for that donor, I might have to wait five more years. Culp says there aren't enough donors like the anonymous person who made her surgeries possible. A team of doctors replaced 80 percent of her face in a 22-hour transplant operation. The doctors used bone, muscles, skin, and blood vessels from an anonymous donor who had just died. Every surgery you have up and downs, you know. I still get headaches once in a while, like the cold and the hot get to me. But for overall, I'm a lot better because I can eat now. Before, I couldn't smell. This undated photo shows what Culp looked like before her husband shot her in a failed murder-suicide. The blast in 2004 shattered her nose, cheeks, the roof of her mouth, and an eye. The whole family, my whole family, had a hard time even coming around me because the way I looked. Now, we're closer than ever now. I mean, I hate to say that about my family, but it's hard. Before the face transplant, Culp endured 30 operations. It doesn't matter what you look like, somebody's going to find fault with you. Either the way you talk or something. You know, nobody's perfect. She says she's now doing well after undergoing her final surgery at the clinic in July. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.